Don't let joint discomfort get in your way. Or giant joint care pills. With Move Free Ultra, just one small pill a day is more effective for joint discomfort than two big pills. Move on to Move Free Ultra. We all know that Dozier has a history, part of our Florida history, that we're probably not proud of. Um, we're not exactly sure what happened there, but we know it wasn't good, and it's something that we as Floridians cannot ignore. Jerry Cooper of Cape Coral was 16 when he was taken to the Florida School for Boys near Tallahassee. He survived the experience, but not before being severely beaten. A move Tuesday by the state to exhume the bodies of boys who died at the school is what he has been working for. You know, it's, it's, really, hard, it's really hard to describe what you felt within a couple of three-day period of being there because you knew you had met, you had met hell. There's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, from the very first day that I got there, things were happening around me that just didn't be, they seemed surreal. That the brutality that I was already witnessing and didn't know why it was going on at the time. Uh, but I did learn very quickly what was going on. This was just a place you didn't want to be. It was nothing but 1,400 acres of hell is what it was. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement questioned Cooper in a probe at the school several years ago and photographed Injuries he still has 50 years later. How does Cooper feel now about Tuesday's decision to exhume the bodies of those boys found dead at the school? It makes me feel like a, you know, at least a ton has been lifted off my heart because this means so much to the seven families that have already come forward and asking to be, you know, for their, 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 their kin people to be returned so they can be buried under proper manners. And uh, I think this is going to be a lot of closure for a lot of people, including the White House boys. For the News Press and News-Press.com.